thing. Hey, Mom. Hey, I found these DVDs of some pictures. I thought, thought you might like to look at them. Okay. How you doing? Mm, not so good. Yeah. Looking at some other pictures. Yeah, look at that. It's a really good picture of you guys. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> How long have you done this? Just under five years. Why do you take the pictures? It's part of the routine. For keepsake. Well, I've always found photography fascinating. The way it captures a moment and freezes it in time. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put the prints up. Once I get back, we'll start the dinner portion of the night. Yeah. So I have to ask, who would you seek my help? Well, um, I was... <coughs> Diagnose terminally ill, and that's yes, kind of yes, I know that. But you just strike me as the type of person who want to enjoy every day they get. Why stop now? They gave me three months to live two months ago. I just I don't want to wait for it. This way. I can choose when. Nobody else. Hmm. I guess I don't understand that feeling. So, uh, tell me why you do this. People come to me with a problem, and I fix it. In the process, I also get to do something that I enjoy. Do you understand you're sick? I guess I don't think about that much. Have you enjoyed the meal? I did. There's a letter in my purse. I need you to mail it. It's to my mother. I just don't want her to be left wondering. That's not part of my deal. Why don't you tell her yourself? Because she would try to talk me out of this. Why? I have a great life and I want it to keep going. But you only have a month left anyway. A month does seem a lot longer now. Maybe I can still do things. Maybe I could get better. I suppose that's possible. I mean, I could still see my family even if I'm in bed. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Could you take off your necklace? I think I want to keep it. I don't want to do this anymore. I just 
going to go home. Please. Please, just let me go. Things can always be... <laughs> Remember the first time that we met? You were a sport and an afro and platforms and I was thinking, there is no way you were gonna get through a day on the line. And you look like fucking Joni Mitchell with a headband and your hair down to your butt. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Guess how old I was when I started that job? 19. 18. 18, can you believe it? God, when I started that job, I was like a couple years younger than you guys. That you were hot. You know it. <laughs> she was. <laughs> God, how that? That was a summer, huh? A lot of fun. Didn't have anything to worry about. Man, you know, I I thought I'd work at Old Sets for like six, eight months max. Can you believe that? The whole year I collected green stamps. You remember green stamps? I had like 10,000 of them. I was gonna trade them for a backpack or a tent. I planned to hike all around the world with my boyfriend, Felix. Felix, I remember Felix. He uh, was a musician, right? <laughs> he had a harmonica. <laughs> but we had planned to wind up in Alaska with my dad who worked at a cannery in Kodiak. I hear your dad. Bill Lombardi, he looked like, uh... Oh, yeah, James Gardner. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, um... He split for Alaska when I was 13. A lot of folks went up there that summer. Remember? Sure. God. Me? Felix? Oh, that was so long ago. We were, we were gonna do the whole Alaska camping, clean living thing, you know? We were gonna hop, hop on the hippie trail and go to uh, Istanbul, Tehran, Kandahar, Kabul, Peshawar, Lahore, and Kathmandu. Places. I still remember them all. I, I used to stay up all night reciting those places like it was like a, a mantra, a prayer. I'd be like, Istanbul, Tehran, Kandahar, Kambul, Peshawar, Lahore, Kathmandu. I had the whole thing mapped out. Like we had, we, we had this map. It was we, we got it from a world atlas. Felix ripped it out. And uh, we got it from the world book. Ha! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that was the plan. So why did you go? Yes, started working, met Dan. Got caught up in the riptide and uh, kind of make my way back to shore. Those things kind of happen. You ever sorry? I guess, I mean, you know, I wish, I wish I would have gotten to see the world, you know, like got out of Burks for at least a year. That's what I regret. I, I regret that even for just a little while, I, I don't know, I don't know, it just, uh, I don't know, it seemed like there was possibility. I think about that Jess that has seen the whole world, who's on the other side of the world, and oh God, what she would have seen. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, 
Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Hey. Oh, hey. Um, thanks. For what? Uh, well, it was just really brave the way you stood up to that robber. Yeah, well, the gun was fake, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah, but you didn't know that. Well, thank you for thanking me. I'm sorry, I really don't know what to say in these kinds of situations. Just take the compliment. See you around, Cameron. See ya. Mom, can you please just listen to me, okay? Can you just, can you hear me for once, okay? No, it's, it's not like that this time. It's different. Look, I know I haven't been the best daughter. I've done some pretty terrible things. I've pushed you away. I've said things I regret. I wasn't there for you. I wasn't there at all when Mark died. And I'm sorry. But I've been working really hard at getting better. <laughs> and I think, I think I'm finally starting to find some peace. And I know, mom, I know, okay? Look, I know it's an ongoing process, okay? I've already disappointed myself. I've scared myself. But you know what? I've been through hell and back. And I know. It should have been me. But I think that if you've seen what I've been through, I think you'd be proud of me.